so today somebody asked on the on Facebook groups that how to make a multi-step form uh, like this uh, they generally ask for how to do that in oxygen builder but that doesn't really uh, has any significance of that you can do it in any uh, using any page builder or anything because uh, we are going to use a form so I personally prefer gravity form but there are other forms as well like fluent forms and some other forms as well which might give you these options of creating uh, these multi-step uh, kind of form plus having an image option for a radio button or check boxes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to replicate sort of like a quick replication of how you can add these icons and uh, make this text uh, with radio button or check box and uh, create a logic of uh, showing these options as you click like how you see that it says interstate interstate so I'm going to quickly jump into my gravity form you would need a uh, gravity form I already did like a test for it you would need a gravity form and for it uh, it's a paid plugin so let's dig into it uh, multi-step test form and let's just create it so uh, what you need to do first is that if you need to create steps, uh, you need to add option pages. So as you can see now, it would give you like at least two pages. So one page here, one page here by default. Uh, the more steps you want to add, you can add them uh, later by adding more uh, sections and pages. And it would add these options here. So the first one we'll do is where are you moving? And the second one was let's uh, I'll keep this short so let's say uh, where are you moving and uh, contact uh, details and you can make a progress bar or steps or you can re remove anything so I'll just go with steps uh, so now the first thing is to create uh, a section like this so where are you moving uh, so I'm going to set up a let's say checkbox and we will have these three options uh, let's give this uh, a title uh, looks like I yeah uh, this so so uh, we have this option called show values uh, so here we'll add local uh, interstate and the last one was international so this would be how it is going to show up uh, for our uh, value structure so this would be like inside the HTML tag and this is where we are going to add the images uh, the labels uh, so I'm just going to copy I'm just going to use this as a reference so I'm just going to copy the image path from here and let's just add an source uh, let's create a span uh, local I'm creating a span so I can control how these two section would look like as you can see that the moment I added an image you can see the image being shown here uh, let's make the second image as well interstate uh, copy and GSRC. Uh, you can give alt as well if you want uh, just a good uh, HTML coding standards interstate span uh, you can give div as well let's copy this last image and span international. Uh, so now we have this uh, option set up as you can see we are uh, did we miss something in interstate it doesn't like this and it still doesn't like this oh yeah okay here's the mistake yeah okay here it is uh, so I added uh, source twice uh, so yeah okay as you can see that we have a basic structure like this how we have it here and we'll just see so next is from to do moving from to to do okay in the state so what we are going to do is uh, we are going to add a name field uh, I'll tell you why uh, because now you can easily get this left and right uh, you can make two fields as well uh, I'm just for the sake of our tutorial I'm just adding a name field uh, you can just change this and instead of uh, first you can say from 
instead of uh, last you can say two but you can add two fields as well uh, uh, like a simple uh, standard text field and then just give a class for left and right but I find this just quick and easy for the moment and we go to advanced and here we'll create a uh, logic so this should only show when the condition meets local uh, so local and let's just duplicate this uh, what's the next interstate okay so just the interstate name changes okay so it was local here and so yeah uh, advance now it should only show if interstate is selected and the third is international so uh, countries from and two countries so what we'll do here is that we we'll just uh, do we need an html tag here okay let's just see okay i'm going to add it here and add a logic here as well local international and then drop down for my uh, what's from from so gravity form gives you this option of predefined choices so you don't have to actually type all the countries yourself you can just click bulkhead and select countries you can select your states canyon gender male all these things are given by default so we are just for the sake of our example we are just going to select countries uh, insert choices and you would have this pre-populated uh, countries listed here again enable logic uh, international and we just duplicate this from and to so our basic uh, first step form is created now just our second option was simple uh, connected it so I'll just quickly drop in name uh, say uh, moving date Uh, let's put an address as well so that should be it and let's update this and let's keep clicking okay so as you can see that we have this option if you click on uh, this uh, you'll see local option if you click on interstate uh, oh, okay so we have checked box so we would replace it with uh, radio buttons uh, so that we don't have all the options selected uh, so like this uh, okay let's do one more thing uh, uh, to this field uh, here let's add appearance CSS class left and CSS class right Let's preview again. Okay, interstate. Okay, Q, left right column. So uh, what? Uh, so just to style it a bit, just inspect element, and you can add the styling. I'm just going to show quickly the inspect element. So we want these in like a grid. So we just display it grid, grid template columns one fr one fr uh, one fr. So these are three columns. Uh, we don't need grid cap. Uh, align item center so they're centered a bit uh, for the sake of this to make it quick i'll just add display flex flex direction column align item center uh, okay uh, and then this has our uh, label so let's make label as well display flex uh, flex uh, direction uh, column so uh, like you can see how it is uh, coming up coming out together like how the structure is so they have this title up and what we'll do is uh, since we have it as order uh, display so flex we'll just give order two and this would come down and you can just give uh, margin top 20 pixel or whatever and same way you can do something with the span as well uh, font weight bold text sign center uh, at the top 20 pixel so uh, you would start to see how this is starting to look more and more like this uh, you can add more css and styling but for the sake of the example i'm just going to show you uh, this but you can make uh, you can add this styling to your style sheet or custom uh, under the custom options uh, as you can see this and to know the names of the 
blocks uh, gravity form gives you option called show structure if you click on this so you will start to see all the structures of what the labels are called what the fields are called and uh, all that uh, so it becomes easier you don't have to inspect element you can see that oh this is label uh, this is label 2 uh, blah blah you can give your own classes as well uh, and so let's select this uh, let's say from Warsaw I'm based in Warsaw to Chandigarh my hometown let's click next and you have step 2 and just autofill and submit uh, so yeah that's simple contact form uh, like two multi-step form with uh, images as checkboxes or radio button like uh, it's simply like instead of checkboxes we can simply use radio button as well exactly the same way and that should work uh, so if I even want to show you radio buttons so same way you have this options of uh, show values and choices so similar what we did here you will do the same thing here. Uh, hope this helps you out. Thank you.